In this video, we're going to focus on how to export your tracks when sending to a mixing engineer here in Studio One 3. Some of the things you want to do first before you export them is making sure that all your tracks are labeled properly. That's very, very important. The next thing you want to do is make sure that all your plugins are deactivated. And then after that, you want to make sure that each track, the label is at Unity Gain and also making sure that all your panning is positioned in the center. Now everything is looking pretty good so far. So the next thing we wanna do is go up to our top here where it says song, and then we're gonna go on down to where it says export stems here. And then there's a little window we're gonna pop up. And the first things we're gonna see is channels, all right? That's not what we're achieving here. We, we're gonna go over to, to, to tracks right here, all right? That way we can get each individual track without the plugin itself. And then obviously you want to pay attention to where you save your file at, all right? And then this right here, this is the file name prefix. Now, if you want something in the beginning of your track, I actually prefer that you don't put anything in front. So I'll just delete that right there, all right? And then down here, you want to make sure that everything is at wave file because that's the universal language between all dolls. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to keep it at 24-bit uh, for the resolution. And then our sample rate is at 48 kilohertz or 44.1. It just really depends. You want to consult your mixing engineer. So the next thing we want to definitely pay attention to, well, obviously we failed to do, is pay attention to the export range. So we want to click out of here and definitely click here and we want to make sure that we clicking the range of the song because this this is very important because if you was to click you know export and you know and you you wondering why your song is only like nine bars long well <laughs> that's because you did not you know adjust your your range here so we're going to go back to export the stems here we got everything and so now we're going to just click here uh for between song start and end market we're going to use that instead Make sure we select on tracks, blah, blah, delete that again. And then um, everything else looks pretty good. Preserve mono tracks, right to tempo, and we pretty much set. After we export everything, this is pretty much how everything will look. All your files will be in this nice little folder here. Right click and go for compress. I'm not sure how this will look on a PC, but this is definitely the method for Mac users. I'm sure there's a way to do it on PC. But uh, after you are done with exporting your archive file here, you will take this file and you will upload it to the platform of choice. Um, again, consult with your mix engineer and go for the most convenient method of sending your files. I'm your boy Ella from ksound.com. Music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.